Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycling Madness Season 2016 with the 2017 database where now it's 2017 and the first World Tour race of the year is about to go on. It's the Santa Tour on the, it'll start this night my time, uh, night between Monday and Tuesday if you're European, which most of my viewers pretty much are. Uh, yeah, that's where I'll start. So I probably won't watch live, but I'll definitely watch it as soon as I can uh, next morning. But yeah, I'll upload these videos the night before each race, so yeah, of course, it's pretty, I'll upload this one like close to like midnight my time, which is three or four hours before the race ends. So it should, should still be should still be fine. But yeah, we have six races here, uh, seven man teams. I think there's only like 16, 17 teams starting, and I couldn't find one of the Australian teams in this database here. So we don't have the one continental teams, but so it's pretty much only World Tour teams that are here, no continental teams at all. I've made a sound list myself. One problem is, uh, there was one rider missing from one of the teams, I couldn't remember what team it was, but it's only one rider, he wasn't that great anyway. I think it was from Giant Sunweb, there was a Dutch rider missing, I think it was. So I just selected another young rider who could replace him, so that's really the only problem. Also this one here, stage 5, is uh, meant to end here actually, on the top of the hill, instead it ends after, on, in the city at the bottom, like it, this is like what should be. But every other stage is correct, so I've pretty much decided to compromise and say I, I can, even though it's probably the most important stage, I can live with this one and uh, not having the face at the top of the climb. I think it actually makes it a little bit more fun that you have to save your energy for the flat part and the downhill as well. But nothing much to say about that more. Uh, let's take a get into the race. I haven't decided what team I want to choose yet. Of course, we have all the teams here, and you can see this, this, the start list for every team. I think it was. Uh, Sunweb that we had. we had, we have Linda Kemner, I think that's the only guy, there was like, I think there was another rider who was supposed to be there, but uh, I couldn't find him in the database, so yeah, he's not to be in there, then the Australian continental team, uh, I couldn't find in the database either, uh, they have got guys like Cameron Meyer and such, so they're not here either, that's the only thing that's really missing, every other team should be correct, I'm not going to choose Oak Green Edge or BMC, because I feel like they're the two biggest favorites, of the race, BMC of course with a double, uh, really strong combination of Richie Port here and Rohan Dennis, uh, both winners previously I believe, uh, or Green is of course the home country with uh, Jarens, Caleb Ewan and Chavez and I, I feel like Chavez is going to be the captain here in this race, although I don't think he'll be in real life of course, I think uh, the captain role will go to Simon Jarens in real life, but uh, in the game here I think uh, Esteban Chavez is probably going to take the captain role here. I'm actually going to go with the new team here, the old Lampre team, then it moved to China, TJ Sport I think it was called, and now it's called UAE Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates Abu Dhabi. I don't know if they're going to get another sponsor at one point, but so far this is what they look like. It's the team, and I actually like it because I have two really good hill riders and I have a good sprinter, and uh, not a great sprinter as well. I don't, have the, I don't have the massive favorites, that's what I like. But I still think Ulisi, uh, as my captain, will do very well in these races here. So we'll choose this team here, and uh, only seven riders, and we all have them all chosen here. So in sprints, we have Ben Swift with Marco Kump as leader of man. So we we'll probably won't win that many sprints. It'll probably be very difficult for us. Sagan and uh, Caleb Ewan will probably take both of them. Hills, we have actually six strong riders here. We can also send Vegas Ling out in the breakaway. He can actually hold on really well. So can Makatu, who's also a decent sprinter, if we get him out on the breakaway. And yeah, the entire stream is actually very strong in these kind of races here. So, favor the rise, Ben Swift is actually there, and Marco Kumi is here as well, so we have a good one-two punch, but favorites are Sam Bennett, Caleb Ewan, Nicholas Arndt, Peter Sagan, of course, Caleb Ewan just won the, the criterium they had yesterday ahead of uh, Bennett and Peter Sagan, so he's at least looking very good in real life, but he did last year as well, and uh, yeah, we'll see what, if anything's different this time. Let's just go into the race now. And uh, we'll see what happens from there on. Start of the race now, and I have my cards up in the front of the race, so I'm actually use light list. I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to send him in the breakaway because actually a pretty strong rider. But I'll try anyway because we have so many other strong riders. We could have sent Lagan now instead. He'll probably be easy allowed, and he's also in great shape. But we'll go with Marco Mercato here. Uh, Swift, on, so sadly enough, a big man for today. He's not looking good. But uh, I'll put Mantis on. Um, Ulysses as the captain for this race. I think Ulysses is going to be the captain. Ben Swift, uh, no, the other way around. Kump will take uh, Ben Swift. And then we have uh, these two men here, just having a two-man train. Maybe 
Mori or Makato will help in the end as well. Okay, I actually have uh, Mas here from Quickstep joining me immediately. De Vries, Guerrero, Shaw, Bidar. And it seems like we have a little, maybe six, six, seven man group here. We are, I think we're six people. Yeah, six seems like a fine group size and they're going to let us away as well. So uh, we have a chance of at least getting some bonus seconds. Is there bonus seconds on these? Uh, here, there is three seconds on both of them, and of course we can get the mount use as well if the if the breakaway lasts all the way until that point. But for now, let's just go to the end of the race. I don't think I'll show you the point sprints since they're not that exciting at all. Okay, so it's the last 40 kilometers now. We have a three minute lead here, but I'm I'm like seeing I have 73 plus two, the mass here 70, 60, 60. That's like two guys who can at least drop here in the next climb, and there's two guys who can probably follow me. But I'm by far, in my opinion, at least the best runner in this group here. And pretty good day shape as well. Some of them might be able to follow me, but I feel like we have a decent shot of at this point actually making. Nah, it's probably a bit too optimistic, but maybe making it to the end. And Swift doesn't look good, honestly. He's already tired. Uh, just sitting here in the pedals on here. So I don't think we have much chance of winning here. Uh, a bunch sprint. So that's really my only hope of winning the stage here is actually for this breakaway to last to the end. And it will be good for my overall chances because my cards could easily turn into a favor of winning the entire race if he makes it because he, he has enough he's strong enough to make it to the end of this race here uh, he, he can keep he can keep up in the hills for this for a long time as well so a little hill here but no one's really working anymore I don't know if they're tired of me sitting on the wheel I didn't I don't, I don't really think I sat on the wheel of anybody for that long so this is the climb here and we'll just see what happens. I think Shaw will fall off and Bidar will probably fall off. The other three here ahead of me will probably make it to the top with me. They're attacking actually, that's a pretty interesting move to do on the climb here. Shaw and Kump. I could also just try with Risi here, have some fun with him. And see what happens with the, with the other guys here, how they, how they react to something like this happening. And then go like this now. And just see what happens. So my cat, I didn't even focus about the mountain points, but I will get the mountain joys apparently. Because I'm just simply dropping them right now. Yeah, they can't keep up for that long. So is Ulysses where is he? It's right there. Up to shore now. Chavez reacts, with the poor reacts. This is actually a bit interesting because this was supposed to be a sprint stage. But now Alicia has a bit of a lead up front here. I'm going to go down to 75 for a little bit here. Get some water as well with him. Alicia can get some water as well while he's at it here. I want to get caught by this group behind me here, and maybe we can drop the pelts a little bit. I don't know why. Uh, is that okay? It's moves. Our photos are green. It's working because they have Chavez up front. They mean house and work to get uh, Chavez back. So here now, Sagan port and Chavez are here, and Rizzo will set in this group as well, and they'll catch up with uh, Marco Macaso now, pretty soon, I think. So we have two minutes. There's no one really working in this group down here right now. So I think my card has a pretty good chance of winning right now, which is really surprising to me. Uh, especially because I'm actually increasing the gap now and I'm regaining energy. So no one's working at this point. These three guys here actually are working together, but they're just not strong enough. They run out of energy uh, on the climb while I didn't run out of energy. So now the person is back together again. Uh, Mind test can go back on Ulysse and don't have to, do, to work with Mori on that. Swift here, uh, Marco Kump. So now they're working again for Arndt. It's already on the of Bauhaus. Is that a leader train already forming here? I don't think there's many leader trains left to actually pull uh, my car to back in up front here. I go a little bit up to 65 here. We have around a minute and a half, two minutes. It's very confusing right now what's happening here.
Marco Kump is so tired at this point as well. Ben Swift on Ulysia is probably what I'm going to do here. Then I'm going to put Ulysia on Mindyas. And Mindyas on Slakta, maybe. I don't know what I'm doing right now, honestly. Sagan is here. Kelvion is all the way up to the front right now. Or to Kluge. Jaren's MP, Kelvion. The train is forming now. Makata up front with five clumps to go and has one minute now. I have no idea where anyone is at this point. We got Tagelingen. He is slowly getting dropped here as well. Now mind is train is trying to catch up. Wait. Makata up in front here. Oh he's going to lose it. Uh, they have already had too many men here. Van Poppel and Arndt can't even keep up with the Caleb Ewan and MP uh, Jaren's train here. No. Oh, Caleb Ewan comes so fast at the end, and I just lose it with on, on the, a bike length. I lost this race with Mercato. I didn't, I didn't even bother sprinting with Swift here at the end. I don't think it'll better matter anyway. But there's no time gap, so I, I, in other states that I didn't, didn't expect to get a top five or something, I managed to finish second. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad in the end, uh, under result. But when you are so close to making it in the breakaway and things like this, you have you feel a little bit disappointed anyway. You kind of hope for a little bit more here, but sad enough didn't happen. So we finished second, uh, 20th, 23rd, and 24th. Honestly, not too bad overall. Sprint rise, of course, we had the green jersey because we got second place and two bonus sprints. Mount jersey, we also were under 25, minus in fourth. Caleb Ewan, of course, in the lead here as well. Team wise, we're in second. So, honestly, not too bad of a start overall. Ulysi looked strong, looked strong as well, uh, dropping and forcing the, the hand of the other GC favorites here on a, on a stage they probably didn't expect it on. So, we're looking really good for stage two tomorrow, uh, which is a lot more interesting for the GC. Ends uphill as well, on a pretty steep climb as well, I think. So definitely some fun stuff happening there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.